you have properties in Quidshaw Avenue to the north, Wicker Primary School here to the east, Branchley Close to the east, and then properties in Cranley Road to the south. Land to the west is further undeveloped land. There's a hedgerow running north-south through the site, and the levels fall gently also north to south. There is an existing sewer running along the eastern and the southern boundary. There's an active badger set on the site, and the site is also within close proximity of the protected European sites within the Portsmouth Harbour, which is further the coast further south. A further designation, the site is classified predominantly grade one agricultural land, which is the, the purple, approximately 87%. And then grade two in the southwestern corner, approximately 13%. The developer has submitted an illustrative layout. This is, and I must emphasize this is just illustrative, just to demonstrate that it is possible to uh, build up to 120 dwellings on the site. <coughs> The uh, net developable area is approximately three and a half hectares, so that equates to 33.8 dwellings per hectare, which is comparable to the surrounding area. The proposal is also offering 40% affordable housing. The this area here, sorry that the fans ran the other way, um, so this is to the west of the proposed housing, would be uh, set aside as public open spo space, which is approximately one and a half hectares. Again, it's illustrative and it's showing um, uh, an artificial badger set to the northern western corner, <coughs> uh, a play area, uh, an attenuation pond, uh, public footpath links through out to Cranley Road and also footpath links through to the site. There would also <coughs> be a two metre wide badger corridor running along the northern boundary and because of the uh, sewer that runs along the eastern and southern boundary there would be an easement through in these locations also. I think on this plan you can actually see the hatched easements through here and along the southern boundary and there's the Badger Corridor. This westernmost boundary along the bottom of the screen here um, is proposed to be reinforced, uh, the hedgerow would, would be reinforced. Some photographs of the site. This is taken from Cranley Road looking north. You've got number 27 Cranley Road, the property that sits here in the southeastern corner. You can just see uh, the <coughs> rear of the properties in Quintral Avenue here to the north. Another photograph. I think this demonstrates how open the site is when viewed from Cranley Road and obviously from neighbouring properties. You can just see some bungalows from Bradshaw Close here, and Wicker School uh, is behind, playing to behind those trees. It's scanning across again just to show this property, 27 and Bradshaw Close. This is looking slightly west towards the hedgerow and what would be the open space area beyond. This is a close-up of that hedgerow. This photograph is taken looking west. This, would, this is the hedgerow that would be along the southern boundary of the open space. This is looking from Cranley Road across the open space, the proposed open space. 
his final photograph is taken from the car park at the recreation ground. Um, and you can just pick out here the properties on the corner of Cranley Road. And so the site is sort of in this 